so these are the masks that I have been making for quite a while with the pocket on the back. But yesterday I started just making plain fabric with no pocket on the back. People seem to like this elastic cord more it stretches a little bit more. But for short term use, I do use the quarter inch elastic or if I have thicker elastic, I cut it in half lengthwise. It becomes more stretchy that way. For the wire, I'm using sprinkler wire, 18 gauge. I use my wire cutters to cut it into 18 inch strips. Then I pull the wires out and then cut them down to six inches long. All right, so all of my masks now are eight inch, eight and a half inches tall from the nose down to the, under the chin. And depending on what size, nine inches across is the most common. I never make one mask at a time. I have long strips of fabric that I'm always using. So I'm always making like 10 to 20 masks at a time. So I do assembly line. But when I'm cutting, I will serge the top and the bottom of my strips that are always eight and a half inches. And then the width determines the size, eight inches, nine inches medium. And so I have my stacks here in case people call and need a specific size. This is ten, these are 10 inches wide. All of them are still eight inch and a half, eight and a half inches tall. Okay, so I use my serger to make sure all four sides are surged. So here's a strip I'm working on serger. But once I have my rectangle that is surged on all four sides, then I iron down a half an inch on the top and then I flip it over, take it to my regular sewing machine and stitch it with, uh, let's see, that is like an eighth of an inch. I do not, I leave about an eighth of an inch at the end unstitched. And this is so that I can easily put the wire in to that area, which is, <laughs> I can't even see where I'm, okay, I've never made a video like this before. Okay, so it is much easier if you leave yourself about an eighth of an inch to get that wire in there all the way. And then I move it so that it's in the center, like this one here. If I bend the fabric on both sides, you can see the fabric. The wire is inside there. in that approximately one eighth inch stitching. Okay, once I have the wire in there, then I go, or actually, bef sorry, before I have the wire in there. So before the wire is in there, but after I have stitched the spot for the wire, I finish stitching the pleat. So this one, I've done the quarter, or sorry, half inch fold on top, fold, flipped it over, stitched the one eighth inch across here, leaving myself one eighth inch at the end. Then I come back over here and iron the rest of the pleats. I'm gonna see if I can film this to show you how I try to do it as quickly as possible. It's just very difficult. Uh, I fold it. Uh, this is probably about an inch and a half. 
hold my fingers down, put a half an inch here, then pull down almost two inches, fold back a half an inch, grab all of it, pull back two inches and a half inch, hold it down, carefully not to burn myself. Now that is not a good example because my iron was not hot. Then I also do the half inch at the bottom. So this is what it looks like when it's iron and all pleated nicely. So at this point, I go and put the wire in, make sure it's centered. Then I flip it over and take hot glue and put a little tiny dab right here on the edge. Press it down so that there's some glue on both sides of the fabric and then approximately five eighths of an inch and press it down. That way I don't have to put pins in. And I do all like 10 of these at a time. And then I go back where my folded bottom fold is. So after this dries completely at the top, then I'll take the bottom part here and a dab of glue just on the edge. That was not a dab. And put the elastic about five eighths of an inch under there. And press it down. Do that to both sides of the mask. once you have all of this glued in place take it back to the regular sewing machine this is already stitched but I don't have another one with a quarter inch seam go in forward and reverse over that elastic. Then I slowly go over the pleats. Now, of course, these are already stitched, but I don't have one at this step yet right now. And then once I get to the end of the pleats, I go in reverse over all the pleats. Again, when I get down to the bottom of the elastic, go in reverse a few times and do then the other side at this point then I make sure that I've pulled all the fuzz off of the mask okay. I'll start her there I'm done okay so this is one of my size this is a, a medium size. So this started out as an eight and a half inch tall piece of fabric and nine inch wide piece of fabric. Has the wire in it for the nose. Then when people pull it over their face, they can pull this part down under their chin.